Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video and today I'm going to be building a house. Now I'm planning on building a two bedroomed house and it's just going to be like a small starter home that people normally have. So like if they've got like them and then a child. So let's get straight into the building. So the plot size that I've chose is 30 by 20 because Obviously, it's just going to be a small home, so it doesn't need to be like too big. So, first off, we need to start by building the shape of it. So, now I don't know if I want it like a squared kind of shape or different shapes. So, this could be bathroom. Do you normally have a bathroom at the front of a house? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you can. And then you could have now. This is going to be a bit confusing. Then a hallway, like this. And you could have that. Now this just doesn't look like a house at the moment, <laughs> but it will be. Um, and then it could go like that, maybe. And then <laughs> this looks so complicated. Then it could go like that. And then this could be one whole room now this might have to be the kitchen slash dining room because it's quite a weird shape so maybe like the door here and then maybe like the main kitchen here and dining room we'll see and then we could have maybe this continuing up to here and then now this just seems like a very big hallway with the gap so could we move this bit over here but then that looks weird okay let's move that back it should be okay and then we could make okay now that just looks strange how am I going to do this? Okay, let's move that like that. Now we can make it smaller because we could bring in the living room like this. Again, a weird shaped living room, but it's okay. Although, we could make it a bit smaller as in the, although, do you really have long living rooms? No. So. Then we need two bedrooms, so we can have one here, like this, and, okay this is a lot more complicated than I thought, <laughs> then this could be, oh and then one here, it could be like a small hallway, like, that maybe and then bring the wall over here okay this looks very oddly shaped but we'll just ignore that for now <laughs> um door let's go to custom content because i've got some custom content now and we want We could have a small door like that, or we could have a big door like this. But then front doors normally just have like a window at a top. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And yes, it is going to be a floor that's on the ground. 
it's kind of like I don't want to say flat because they normally have stairs but I don't know what you'd call it it's just a nice simple home <laughs> right and then I want a arch door here and then maybe a door here for the bathroom a door here for the living room a door now if I put a door there does that look odd I think it does so let's put one here and then one here now I didn't think this one through but I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing the roof oh there we go okay that makes more sense so let's go up here now the roof seems complicated because we've got this big space and then we've just got this little bit at the end so I don't know how we're going to be doing this we could go like that shorten this down a bit that's a lot it's too pointy maybe like th although that just seems like one big roof <laughs> so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing oh and then we could do this and run that in there like that it's a bit oddly shaped now we need windows to brighten up the place because it is a bit dull let's use my custom content windows so in the kitchen maybe we could use then that might look odd here but I can't exactly use any here uh, Oh, these would be good for the bathroom. Well, the toilet room, bathroom. It's all the same thing. And then, uh, could use these windows maybe as like that. Kind of looks odd, but we're going to go with it. And then let's put what here, one here, and one here. How does that look inside? Although that looks strange, but then that looks strange as well. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Let's go put here and put one here. There we go, and then. Now we did want a garden but I don't think there's going to be enough room for it unless what we do is put a door here but then it's going to be an oddly shaped garden although it's good to be unique at times so let's put a door here or should we have a garden because it just doesn't seem right you know what we're not going to have a garden it's just a small family home they can go to the park so windows let's go back to the windows put one here one well two here that's not too close should be okay now I want one here and one here and then two here like that okay now the outside of the house what colour can that be now I don't have to go for like this kind of brick or this kind of brick I feel like this one looks better. 
I think I might just go with this one. Now, I know I'm not a great builder. I get that. I'm pretty basic. But I try. And I can be good at times. So. Then we can go and start decorating the kitchen maybe. Or should we start with the hallway? Because you would normally come in the hallway. Although there's not much to do in the hallway. So let's do the hallway. Let's go to the custom content lights. Now, the lamps. I want lights that are going to be bright obviously so these lights are bright but they've got a yellow tint to them and that's what I don't like I like this kind of like white tint okay it's between these see I feel like these are too low so it might have to be these although they seem low as well oh I've got the wrong ones might have to be okay these are bright it's definitely them so let's put a few yeah we don't want to make us we like to keep things realistic and let's go here okay that is not nice Now in hallways you normally just have a plain wall, like with no patterns, so I might go with something like that. Uh, that's kind of a nice colour, grey, well greyish white. See, some people do keep it basic in their homes, which is nice. And then we could. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, I like this. We're going to go with this. Although, I think I would have liked that in the living room. But then, it kind of looks good in the hallway. But we're going to leave it in the hallway. Um. What else can I do with the hallway? Here I could add a wardrobe, but we can use it as like a cabinet. Like this one, for example. Although we could go with that one. Or. No. This is the only one that actually looks good. Good. Could use that one. We're going to go with this one. We don't want to use too much space up. Then we could get a plant and Okay, I need the sheets on. and then put the cheat in okay now we can put it in the corner and we can have a do I want a plant on top Oh, that looks nice. And then we could have a mirror on top of the cabinet. Now, I want to go with a round one. And small. Oh, that one's nice. Let's 
so small out. Okay, there's lights there. Uh, I think we're going to go with this one. And then, what else can you exactly put in a hallway? Let's put some pictures in there. And then we can put. Is there any custom content ones? Yes. Now, with the second room, I'm not sure if I should make it a toddler's room. Because then that would kind of like ruin it if I decide to have a child in the house. But we could always change it. Um, see that looks nice there. Okay, that should be enough for the hallway. Now move on to the kitchen. We could have, and we don't really want the same floor because then it looks like it's blended in too much. Maybe we could go for this one and some kitchen wallpaper. Now I feel like that blends in too much, but then it does kind of look nice. Okay, we'll go for a brick or can still go for a brick kind of vibe but with this one I think this one looks better so here could be like the kitchen area and then here could be like a little dining area it won't be too big but it's only a little family so I don't think I, maybe we should keep the wooden themed so we could go for one of these with some chairs I don't, I don't feel like they match uh, We also don't want anything too fancy because it is in a fancy house. See something like this would look nice. Move it back a bit. There we go. A nice basic eating area. And I know that somewhere in here there's like food stuff like this they'll go nice in the kitchen but I don't think you really put pictures up in the kitchen not big ones anyway so we'll leave that for now let's go to the actual kitchen so I'm not sure we're going to use the same lights in the house but I'm not sure if I want to have these counters these counters or these ones I think we might go for these ones now how big should we have the kitchen because we don't want to make it too big Maybe we should have it up to here. Oh, I've accidentally put one there. Right, the fridge can go here. And then the oven can go... And 
extra sink. Can maybe go here. And the microwave. Here. We could add a fruit bowl. If we can find one there. In the corner. And we can add. Oh, we can add some of these up there. Um. Now I don't think that's realistic. If you can park your car there. Does that look odd? Kind of looks odd. You know what? We'll, we'll keep it for now. Um, back to the kitchen. We can have a coffee machine here, maybe. Oh, a dishwasher I nearly forgot about. That can go next to the sink. Now we can have cupboards here. We need cupboards that kind of match. And these ones we could do. Keep it nice and basic up there. And I always forget about the bin. I don't know what it is. Okay, and I think that's the kitchen done. The, I know the kitchen looks a bit basic. Oh, I can't forget about this. Now, like I was saying, I know the kitchen looks a bit basic, but you're not in the kitchen all the time, so. Let's go to the bathroom now. Um, we could have some tiles. Or we could have some boats. <laughs> or we can go for the basic kind of fit. You know what? We're going to go for it. Because why not? With some white flooring. You also need to put the lights in there. Which I think I'm going to do throughout the whole house. Quickly. Like that. So. Now if we go here. I'm not sure if I should have the shower and bath separate or together like this. But I think I might go for it separate. So let's go, oh, can we get this in white, yep, so let's go for that, or not, okay, it keeps disappearing, I'm not going, okay, um, well we're not going to go for that then, <gasps> okay, we're, we're, okay, we're going for this one, because, it's just nice. And a shower. And we need to put a toilet in here. And a sink. And then that will be bathroom done. Oh, and a mat. What mat should I go for? I kind of want one that's long that goes right the back. Like that. Alright. Um, 
one next the living room now this one is going to be a hard one because of the weird angle that it's at now we could have like a computer area here and then like the TV area here but we'll see how it goes first of all we need carpet and I like to keep the carpet basic sometimes and then we could have uh, this and then we could add the sofa let's have the TV first so the TV cabinet the, the TV on it um, we can go for a bit of a corner sofa let's move that across and a bit forward okay I actually like that now let's match that and table I already know what table I want to use <laughs> and I'm going to go for a rug like that Look like this, and then we could have a fireplace there with a picture above it. Oh, or a clock that will probably make more sense. We could have a lamp oh, or a plant. in the corner then we can add some computers here as like little computer section add some chairs and then add the computer like so and then that's also the living room done because it's nice and basic pretty empty not too full and that's what we like now this will be the most likely parents room so you can go for this with this maybe and then you can add a double bed Add it there and then put a cover over. And add some pillows. Pillows that seem to be in there. gone oh there add some pillows and then add a bedside table like this add a clock and add one well that plant looks kind of dead <laughs> so we won't use that one Now plant here. You could add wardrobe. Here. 
गया आज मिरर इन कॉर्नर एंड देन ऐड ए प्लांट नाउ आई फील लाइक आई हैव बिल्ट दिस रूम वे टू बिग देन वी कुड ऐड ए बुकशेल्फ And leave it like that. Then this can be a toddler's room. So why not? We are going to add some penguins. Now we're going to make it a boys and a girls' room. Just so it can be like any gender in there. Add the same flooring as the parents' room. Then we could have toddler's bed there with a. A dog and a cat. There, and then a dollhouse. There, she lets me that yellow to match the room. <gasps> Actually, I think I want this bird. Or do I need the blue? Going yellow themed for this room apparently, and we could add a toy box. Now I want a flooring. Well, this one's nice. I mean, a mat, not a flooring. Um. Then we could have. Random toys around the room. Tablet and toy box can go there. And I would say that's the toddler's room done. Keeping it nice and basic. Um. Yeah. Check everything over. Yeah, I would say that is done. So this is the finished house. Oh wait, I always do this. Getting the I normally have that decided house maybe. Okay guys, this is the final house. I suppose that's what you could call it. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. And see, see you next time. Bye.